Hello students. Today we are going to start with the first chapter of introductory microeconomics which is 10 principles of economics. Introduction. The word economy comes from the Greek word oikonomos where oikos means house and nomos means managing so it means managing the house or you can say management of household okay at first this origin might seem odd but in fact households and economies have much in common A household faces many decisions. It must decide which members of the household do which task and what each member gets in return. For example, who cooks dinner? Who does the laundry? Who gets the extra dessert at dinner? And who gets to choose what TV show to watch? In short, the household must allocate its scarce resources. So, scarce means limited. The household must allocate its limited resources among its various members, taking into account each member's abilities, efforts and desires. Like a household, a society also faces many decisions. A society must find some way to decide what jobs will be done and who will do them. For example, a society needs people to grow food, other people to make clothing and still others to design computer software. Once society has allocated people as well as land, buildings and machines to various jobs, it must allocate the output of goods and services that they produce. It must decide who will eat caviar and who will eat potatoes. In the same way, it must decide who will drive a Ferrari and who will take the bus. The management of society's resources is important because resources are scarce, resources are limited. Scarcity means that society has limited resources and therefore it cannot produce all the goods and services that people wish to have. We have finite resources and unlimited wants and needs. Economics is the study of how society manages its scarce resources. Thank you.